so in this video we will learn to create a standard specification tree or you can say standard CAD methodology for restful design domain so there will be some small changes in this tree as per your company's standard but there will not be any major changes so this tree will be completely parametric so that anyone can understand it and this is very easy to modify so let's start now so as you can see right now I am in the assembly design workbench so what I will do I will first insert two products inside this main product like this and I will change the name of this product first as pt name of your project name of the project so here you can write whatever the name of the project you have you can write it here and now I will rename this product as input so whatever the customer has given you as input you have to create that inside this product now let's rename this product as main assembly so this is for the main assembly and you know that in Bristol there are two types of assemblies one is bottom assembly and one is top assembly so I will create two products inside this product inside this main assembly so this one is for bottom assembly and the second one is for top assembly so as you can see we have created these two products inside this main assembly one is bottom assembly and the second one is top assembly and now what I, what I will do I will create one part inside this input product like this and now first thing we have to do is we have to rename this as DSS so first we will create one access system which will be absolute access system so here I will just so I will just define these planes like this then hide these planes and I will rename this access system as absolute access system and we will create everything with, re with reference to this absolute access system and now we have to create one we have to create some geometric ordered geometrical sets so as you can see I have created three ordered geometrical sets so here I will rename it as points and axis system so inside this geometrical set we will create all the points and the axis system which we want which is required and inside this geometrical set we will create all the planes and inside this geometrical set we will create all the sketches like this now now what we have to do we have to create some points and axis systems so I will define this geomet geometrical set first and I will create one point at 0 0 0 then I will rena rename it as lower base point so this point is a lower base point 
of like this now i will just hide this absolute access system first and now we have to create one access system on this lower base point with reference to absolute access system and then i will rename it as lower base access system now similarly we have to create one more point and access system at 200 mm in z direction and let's create one so before that i will just rename it as component loading point so this point is component loading point and we have to create one access system on this point and here in reference i will select the absolute access system i will re remove this current so now again we have to create so i will just rename it first as component loading point sorry component loading access system so now again we have to create one more set of point and access system so let's create one point at 400 mm in z and on this point we will create one access system so this point is the upper base point and now i'm creating one access system on this upper base point with reference to this absolute access system so as you can see we have created these three points and three access systems so i will just rename this one as upper base access system so now you can see if i change this point if i change the lower base point everything else will change also according to this lower base point so i will take 100 mm here so as you can see this is absolute access system and other three access systems are changing with respect to the lower base point so i will take it to the original place at 000 so now we have to control these access systems with some parameters so for that i will create some parameters now so let's create some parameters here so here you have to select no and i will create one parameter for the component loading point or component loading height which will be 200 mm so as you can see inside these parameters we have created this component loading height and now we have to link this point component loading point with this parameter so i will so i will just 
double click on this Z and give formula here and select select this parameter and now you can see this point is linked with that parameter so that you can I will just move this relation I will cut this and paste it here so that it goes inside these relations so now you can see we can control these points or access systems with these parameters so now we have to create one more parameter for the upper base point which is shirt height and this height is 400 mm and now I will link this upper base point with this shirt height like this so now you can see we have linked these two access, access systems with these parameters so if you want to change the height you can simply double click on these parameters and change it as per your requirement like this so let's increase some shirt height also so I will take 500 mm so as you can see these access systems are also updating according to these parameters so after creating these points and access systems we have to create some planes now for different parameters and different requirements so I will define this geometrical set and I will create one plane I will create one offset plane from this reference at an offset distance of 50 mm so this plane I have created for die thickness then let's create one more offset plane from this plane by 50 mm and this one is for I will rename it so this plane is for bottom plate height which is 50 mm and now let's create one more plane from this reference plane at, an, at a distance of 70 mm so this plane is created for the punch height which is 70 mm and now let's create one more plane at 50 mm so this plane is for top plate 